So Mag TV. So Mag TV. So Mag TV. What is it? What is it? Speaking on urban life. So Mag TV. So Mag. So Mag. So Mag TV. Keeping Christ in the center of the conversation. What's happening? What's happening? You are watching Soul Mag TV. This is your man Brinson from God Chasers Entertainment, GodChasers.com. I'm super excited about this show today. We have something crazy out of the box. This is the Jam the Hype issue event of the show where my homeboy Chris Chicago from Jam the Hype had this crazy idea. He said at Flavor Fest, I want to wrestle Thizzle. So he brought that idea to Urban D, the planning team for Flavor Fest, and they say, this is crazy. Yeah, let's go with it. So Chris Chicago contacted me because he know I'm a big wrestling fan, just like him. We go way back. Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, the Four Horsemen, WCW, ECW, everything you want to know, brother, we're in there. So you know all of that good stuff. So he said, I'm going to wrestle Thizzle. I said, man, this is a big dude. Then I looked at Chris Chicago, I said, you a big dude too. I said, only way this is gonna work is if I'm in the ring and we're gonna host it. So I said, you know what, we're gonna do this crazy thing. Chris said, I'm gonna practice. He got with some wrestlers, Nikita Koloff, the Russian Nightmare. He was at the event at Flavor Fest, wrestling legend. It was off the rip. God is so good and at the end, he gave an altar call and people got saved. So this, we did it for fun, but souls was involved. So I want you guys to check this out. Awesome, Chris Chicago versus Thizzle, Soul Mag TV. Yeah.
This is your man Brinson, God Chases Entertainment, Crossover Church, Soul Mag TV. To be the man, you got to beat the man. That's what Ric Flair says. That ain't scripture, that's just Ric Flair. I hope you guys enjoyed that awesomeness. Chris Chicago versus Fizzle. We about to go to a commercial. Here we go, boom. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone, download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Soul Mag TV, what? Soul Mag TV, oh yeah, and never mind, never mind. Listen, before I go on, tell all your friends to tune in to the Juice Network and watch all the episodes of Soul Mag TV. Watch this anytime online, but make sure you tune in to the Juice Network. Next, we're going into the biggest homie in the Lou. That's St. Louis for short, the show me state, you know what I'm saying? Big Fizzle, about to drop an album called Fallen King. Big shout out to him, all the homies from St. Louis. Trouble, Chosen, Jason, Mike Real, the big homie Flame, they out there doing it, JR. But this man of God, he is awesome. He's been doing his things for so long. He's been with the 116 Click. Look at Fizzle in this in depth interview. He's gonna tell you like it is. This Brinson, yow. What's up, y'all? This your boy Fizzle, chilling at Flavor Fest 2013 with So Mad. But I'm a rapper, CEO, Full Ride Music. Get it in for the Lord, man. When I first became a Christian, I, I wanted to change my name. And uh, it was funny, I went to one of my cousins and and, and, and was like, man, I'm gonna change my name to this. I, it was funny, the funny thing was I was like, we changed my name to like Izzle or something. And my cousin was like, nah, Dizzle. But yeah, that's where it came from, man. It was just my way. Uh, like when you see in the Bible, a lot of times you see Saul, when, when he started rocking with the Lord and he started going hard for Jesus, like Jesus changed his name to Paul. So it was one of them things where I felt like God wanted to change my name from what I was to what I was going to grow into being. And so in the streets, they called me something totally different. So I was like, I don't, I don't want to be called that the rest of my life because I'm not the same person. Growing up musically, I didn't listen to Christian music. I didn't even know Christian rap existed until like probably the first night I ran into the gospel and Christians. So growing up, my musical influence weren't Christians. Um, my, my biggest musical influence was growing up and it's depending on the era it was in, of course, like Tupac, Biggie, uh, Jay-Z, Beanie Siegel, DMX. Like, I listened to hood dudes. I, like, I couldn't listen to music that I didn't think was real. So if I heard a dude talking about, man, I do this and I do that to you on an album, and I felt like he wasn't going to do it, I wouldn't listen to it. Art artistically, when I first became a Christian, the dudes that had the biggest influence on me were dudes, like I said, that would have been considered underground but popular, like Ty Bangs, um, Ty Bangs, Jafar Life, or Swift, um, Prime Minister. I, I've been through a crazy life. Like people, when people hear me talk about stuff I've been through, they like most people don't think it's that serious because they've never been through it. But I, I've been through a crazy life. Like my life, my life was so crazy. Anything happening to me right now is an upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever I'm going through right now, don't even compare to stuff I, I've been through. Like I, 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 I buried my cousin because my one of my friends, one of my best friends, killed him. You know what I'm saying? Like I found, we found my other little cousin dead in the trunk of his car because some dudes killed him and put him in there. Like I watched my friends die like in front of my face. I watched my mom struggle with drugs for years. She saved now. But I watched my mom struggle with drugs for years. My daddy abandoned me, you know, like, I, like, I, I get temptations, I, I have stuff that I, I fight with and I struggle with, but that stuff don't shake me. And I stay motivated because I'm always around real people. Like, most dudes rap about being in the hood and say, I, I, like, most dudes rap about I, I'm in the hood and I want to reach people in the hood that don't know Jesus. Like, I be in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I rap the way I rap because that's really how I live. That's my life. I left the hood long enough to get grounded in the Lord, but even in that process, I was still in the hood. 
back and forth. I would I wouldn't stay out that late in the beginning. I wouldn't uh, of, of like other times in the beginning. Begin I would be around people getting high. I was I would fall and get high. So I set boundaries for myself after that. I ain't gonna be around nobody getting high. I ain't gonna be doing this. It was a point where I was like, man, I, I don't even want to be around certain music. Like none of that because I knew it would trigger thoughts for me. But once the Lord got me stable enough, I was right back in the hood, like as much as I could be. Like now I'm on the road, I'm doing stuff, I got family, but I'm in the hood every week. Like I'm in the hood every week. Like I'm I'm out there. So I rap about real life stuff. Like I don't, I don't, the day I start making stuff up to rap about, I'm gonna stop. That's when I'm quitting, because it ain't gonna be fun no more. song like this is so vintage so authentic and there's no gimmick and by the first amendment i'm free to speak about an ancient king from the middle east he's a lion the lamb the eye from zion they crucified him that's so defiant and the first of the ten commandments been abandoned look at man and there was no reliance there was slow compliance and no compliance i know they hate it i get it i get it i get it i get it but who resurrected, he did it, he did it. He laid his life down and took it up. Uh, 2,000 years plus, now look at us. Uh, Christianity spread, gang of bloodshed, boss, go and look it up. And I ain't trying to be a tough guy. Nah. And I ain't trying to be a martyr either. Nah. And I ain't got the kill me complex. I just want to be just, just like Jesus. Like when it's my time to go, go. I want to die with grace. Go. I want to die with faith, knowing that I'm about to see his face. Go. Go. Want to be filled with the spirit and no longer fit. I'm living for you, Lord, as long as you can I'm take here. my life. You can take 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 my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my life. 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 You can take my, you can take my, you Let's can go. take my, you can take my, you can take, take my life. I said go ahead and take it, take tell me how I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose Christ it. already said it. it, he said I'm gonna cock back, I'ma let it fly for that bullseye, I said cool, I got clear sight in my lap, so I'm for that full ride, that full ride, so go ahead and take my life, my life. I'ma lay it down with that brown at, with that brown at on that ground flat, same place with that crown at, but every soldier that's chained up, chained up, has been locked down, church boy, church, church girl, youth group is getting mocked now, woo! Christ is still with us, he said he wouldn't leave us, he promised to show. Promise to show. They'll mock us, they'll shoot us, they'll lock us, I promise they won't stop our souls. Won't stop our souls. Death is just for me, we got the victory, cock and reload. Death for your stinger be, we still believe in the rockets, our fortress, he got us for show. We refusing to stand down, cause face why we stand up. If faith see your heart now, everybody get your hands up. Cause he makes my life, he can break my life, he can shake my life. If he want to, he can take my, he can take my life. You 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 can take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my life. 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 You can take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my. I was locked up in this Middle Eastern prison. Guards all around me, they strapped up like something serious. Oh, guards, they got guns, look like I'm losing. They asked me, did I love Jesus for they start shooting? Holes all in my body, blood over my body. We all know how this gon' go. I ain't waking up in a Bugatti, in a new Bugatti. If I make it to that place, Jesus, hold me close. Take my fur, Lord, feel me with your holy Let's ghost. Let's go, my brothers over in that Middle East. They dying off in them streets. They running up in they house at night, putting the heat to them while they sleep. And it's all for the cross, because they boldly proclaim his name. They proclaim his name. They ain't scared of the guns. They ain't scared of the jails or the chains. We ain't scared of the chains. This is for Africa, Syria, and Afghanistan. Every soldier that lost their life all the way over to Pakistan. They can close our eyes, but they cannot deal my life. Cause we signed up to die. You can take my, you can take my life. 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 You can take my, you can take my, you can take my, you can take my, you can take my life. You can take my life. You can take
take my life. You can 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 take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my. You can take my life. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone, download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation. We're back. We are Bizak. This is your man Brinson. You're watching Soul Mag TV. Man, that was su this is such an awesome show to host. I love it being such a, a wrestling fan and a fan of Christian hip hop. You know, uh, praise God for the homeboy Thizzle. Me and him has had a whole bunch of concerts together around the country. Uh, awesome man of God, awesome heart. And praise God for Chris Chicago and the whole jamthehype.com crew. Make sure you log on and just check the them out. Um, but before we go, we just want to talk a little bit about something that's so near and dear to my heart, uh, the subject of prayer. Uh, prayer for the Christian is essential. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure watching that match, you was like, you know, I wouldn't be in the ring with Thizzle and I wouldn't be in the ring with Chris Chicago because those brothers are like two mammoths and like who wants to do that? But you know what, back in the Old Testament, the troops of God had to fight. Um, David had to fight. He prayed before he went out and slew the giant. And any ad adversity we have in our lives, we should always pray. Not even that we're getting in trouble. We should pray when times are good. We always should be in constant communication with God. Um, there's a scripture, Luke 18 and 1. Jesus said to the disciples that man should always pray. I heard a great man of God say he doesn't go 30 minutes without praying. I think that I was like, man, that's crazy. But you know what? He want to talk to God so much and he loves our father so much that he want to have constant communication with him. And I think we should have a heart that's always toward prayer, praying for others, praying for ourselves, praying for our family members, spouse, co-workers. Uh, if you're in prison, praying for inmates, the warden, you know, a lot of things come from prayer. Favor comes from prayer. Just a lot of, a lot of great things. In, in Mark 11, 24, Jesus said, when you pray, believe. He said, you can ask me anything. You know, and for the Christian, that should give you confidence that God is really listening to you and he's concerned about your well-being. He said, that he know what you're gonna pray for even before you pray. And further, I'll give you more than you can ask or think. God know our needs. He just want us to be verbal with him. You know, in any relationship, the person you're in a relationship with always wants to talk and communicate. God is the same way. You know, it. you don't wanna be that person that texts more than you pray, that calls your girlfriend and boyfriend more than you talk to God. Because think about it. Would you talk to somebody who you think is cute versus your mom who carried you for nine months and take care of you? No, it's just like God. God's taking care of you everywhere. Always talk to him. Don't talk to others more than you talk to the Father. He's your source. He's all that you need. So think about it. We love you at Soul Mag TV. Tell your friends about us. Tell your friends about Flavor Fest 14. Pray for Chris Chicago and Fizzle. Hopefully they'll have another match. Fizzle, I want a shot at that title next year. Holla back at us. Urban D, thank you. We love you. Juice TV, we out. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone. Download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation.